So this is the second slide of topic accusative. In the previous slide, we covered definite article. In this slide, we are going to cover indefinite articles and negative articles. And pre in the previous slide, we saw that in only for masculine noun, we have to change the dare article to den for when it, it is used and uh, when the uh, object is used as accusative. Uh, so let's see what uh, what changes have to be made in uh, indefinite articles so the mas for masculine uh, nouns the article will be changed to einen for feminine it will remain eine for neuter it will remain ein so and for plural we cannot use a uh, for plural so we see that here again the only change that has to be made is in case of masculine noun where the article has to be ended with en so it will be einen let's see the example he writes a letter er schra er schreibt einen brief so previously it was uh, uh, den uh, I have and written it just as a reference he writes a, a letter er schreibt einen brief so you see that you have to add an en at the end uh, whether it is uh, definite article or indefinite article she buys a jacket sie kauft eine jacke so so you see that for feminine noun there will be an e at the end uh, whether it is definite article d or indefinite article eine he renovates a house er renoviert das house or er renoviert ein house so here because it's a house therefore we will use ein house and you see that it does not have any extension it does not have any en or e at the end and same is true for um, a definite article so now see let's look at the negative article so negative article is kind and in case of masculine noun it will be having an ending en again so it is not Kain rather kainen Fe for feminine noun it's kaine for noiter it's kain and for plural it's kaine again the same